Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 12. Write your name here first. And we're using the five group cards again. We use them a lot. Uh, if you're not sure about the five group cards. If you don't have them with you, or you, you don't have them, uh, you can work without them. But they, they can be helpful. Uh, there's a picture here, what they look like. They'll have a number on one side, and they'll have dots on the other side. So what you're going to do is use them, use them to count up. So you figure out how many you need to count up to get the total. For that, that's what we're doing for these. We're all, we're trying to find missing add-ends, or we're trying to find out in a number story. It's going to be how many more, or um, how many we started with. It's going to be some unknown amount that's changed. <clears throat> and we're going to call this the mystery number for these. So for this first one, we have to figure out 5 plus something. We don't know how much. We'll come to a total of 7. We'll equal 7. So this is how you would use the 5 group cards. You have 5, and here's one card, and then you would look and try to find five, six, seven. You need two more dots to make seven, so the mystery number would be two. And this is really all about counting on to figure out how many more you need. You had to count on six, seven, uh, and, but that was two more numbers it took. So the mystery number is two, two more. Our second problem, we start with a 2. Here's a picture of the cards right here. Look at our number sentence. We're looking for a total of 8. So we got to count up to 8. So there's the 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now notice what I did. I had 1, 2, 3, 4. After the 5, I didn't try to put them all together. Because they're five group cards, right? So you, you, you have a column or a row of five, and then you have to start a new group. So you can look at it just like a 10 frame. You see five and one more, right? You see these five, these five and one more, and that's six. So you know you needed six more. And you can, you can use the cards with the dots and just find the one that has the right number of dots that, that counts up to eight, and then turn the card over and see that this card on the other side of it would have would have a six. All right, and that's how, that's just how you use the five group cards if you have them. If you don't, then you can just draw the pictures and count the dots like I'm doing. So um, we're going to start with six. We're going to add some more. We don't know how much more, but the total is going to be nine. So if you're using the five group cards, here's a picture of them. We start with a six, and we're going to just draw dots to count up to nine. Six. 7, 8, 9. We had to draw 3 more to get to 9, so the mystery number is 3 more. Now this is a two-pager. And we're using the five group cards again, if you have them, to count on and solve the math stories. Use the boxes to show your five group cards. So that's going to be our picture for this. We're going to RDW these, just like all other word problems. RDW, read, then we draw a picture, some kind of labeled picture, and then we write our answer. Write a number sentence, and then we write our answer. So first we're going to read. Jack reads four books on Monday. He reads some more on Tuesday. And he reads seven books total. How many, book does, how many books does Jack read on Tuesday? So... We have Monday books and we have Tuesday books. So the Monday books, here I'm going to label my picture. This will be my picture. Monday, four books on Monday. And these are the Tuesday books, so I'll label that with a T. And I know it has, we have to get to a total of seven books, right? So that's four, five, six, seven. And here's our number sentence we're going to write. Start with four, 
It was three more he needed, and the total is seven. He read three more books on Tuesday. Number five. Now that you've seen an example like that, try the others. Pause it, try the others, and you can check your answer. Or if you get stuck, you can just watch it. That's what it's, that this is here for. Uh, Kate has Kate has one sister and some brothers. Now, some brothers, we don't know how many, just more than one sister. It says she has seven brothers and sisters in all. So the total is going to be seven. How many brothers does Kate, Kate have? So she has one sister, and these are brothers. And we know the total is going to come to seven brothers and sisters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we had one sister. And you recognize this. This is what five, why we call them five group cards, because you have a row of five here and one more. And you just see that from a 10 frame, you know it's five and one. You don't have to count it. It's one more than five. It's six. And we know the total is seven because we knew that in the beginning. Seven. Kate has. We're counting brothers here, right? We don't, The answer is not the total. It's not seven. It's the number of brothers, which was six. And now we have there are six dogs in the park and some cats we don't know that's unknown exactly how many cats there are so there's some more cats but we don't know exactly how many that's what we have to find out there are nine dogs and cats in the park all together so the total is going to be nine so we looked at our number sentence let's look at our number sentence first this time right, we know these are our add-ins here and here and this is going to be our total uh, we know our total is nine, and we know we start with six dogs. So it's six plus something equals nine. That's what we're going to have to figure out. Let me erase that question mark because we're going to have to put a number in there when we're done. All right. Uh, so we're going to use draw the five group cards, right, because we read it. I kind, of skipped it. I kind of skipped the drawing. I skipped ahead. I shouldn't have done that. So we're going to draw the five group cards. We started with the six, right? Those are dogs, right? And these are cats. C for cats. And then we have to get to nine, right? So six, seven, eight, nine. That was, it took three more. There. So we had to add three more. There are three cats.